Okay, so here's another one, that uh, an application that I can use the product of some formulas. This allows me to take a product that normally I wouldn't be able to do because 5 pi over 12 and pi over 12 are not on my table. However, by using the product of some formulas, this does allow me to find the exact value because in the course of using the formula, I'll actually get something that I can get off of my table. So this would be, so it allows you basically to do certain kinds of products. Now, of course, the problem has to be engineered in a certain way to allow you to get uh, an answer or uh, angle that's on your unit circle. However, certain cases you are able to actually get an exact value, and that's one case here. So cosine sine, the x would be 5 pi over 12, and the y is going to be pi over 12. We're going to put these into the bottom formula, and so that means that we can take all this here, the product, and rewrite it as that. So we're going to put in 1 half sine of x plus y, 5 pi over 12, 5 pi over 12 plus pi over 12, and then I'm going to do minus sine of 5 pi over 12 minus pi over 12. So I have Basically, I'm putting in an x, 5 pi over 12, and the y is going to be pi over 12, just putting it into the formula here. We're going to work this out, and that's going to give us uh, the exact answer. So we have 1 half times all this, so we have sine. Uh, when we add these together, we're going to get 6 pi over 12, and 6 pi over 12 uh, would be written here. We can reduce it later. And then next, we're going to have sine 5 pi minus pi over 12, that's 4 pi over 12. Okay, and then now we're just going to reduce it, and then I can get values off of my table. Okay, so that's going to be sine of pi over 2, and then this is going to be sine of pi over 3. Okay, so these are the values. Now I can get values from my table or unit circle, I can get for uh, each of these. So 1 half, okay, sine of pi over 12 is the y value at 90 degrees, that's going to be 1, and then minus. Okay, sine of pi over 12, uh, sine of pi over 3 rather, uh, that's going to be uh, 60 degrees, square root of 3 over 2 uh, would be the exact value uh, for this one here. So this is going to be your exact value. Uh, you can multiply through by 1 half, 1 half minus square root of 3 over 4. And you can either leave your answer like that, or again, if you want common denominators, you can. If you want to get common denominators by multiplying this by 2 over 2, then you would get that as the answer. 2 minus square root of 3 over 4, that would be the exact value for this product.